What's going on, everyone? Okay, so I'm here to show you how to use pocket options. Um, so when you're a new trader, I find that you should kind of go right into a new trader for binary for H of X, actually. You should use the broker pocket options. And I know there's level ups, there's race options, IQ, because I now use race options as well. But me being a new trader, I thought it was a lot easier when I was learning in pocket options, plus the demos there as well. It's really easy to set up quick and you can start as low as $50 US. Okay, so let me go through all of this and show you how and adding so you can add your indicators, showing you how you can add time, um, everything. I'm just going to show you how to use pocket options. All right, let's do this. Let me share my screen. Okay, here we are. Okay, so this is called pocket options. And like I said, this is a broker and this is where you do HFX binary and this is where you can make your money. So you can start this and make an account and you don't have to verify right away. But if you need to take out money, you have to verify this account. Um, right here, this registration, if you look right here where my mouse is, right over there. And then um, you verify this account so you'll be able to take out money. Like I said, it's only $50 US and um, to deposit in here. And it had for you to take out money, it's $100 minimum US to take out money. All right, so let's go through this. How to pick your currencies. So right here on the left-hand side where it says CAD JPY, this here is how to pick your currencies. And I, right now I have currencies highlighted. Here you go, Euro, CAD, CHF, all of these are all your currency pairs. The numbers right next to the currency pairs are the percentage. So exactly how much you're going to be paid out. So Euro GBB, <laughs> Euro GBP, it's paying out 80%. What that means is if you, if you went in for a trade and you decided to trade that your trade amount was going to be $10 and you won that trade, you would get $8 on top of your $10 because it's paying out 80% of your $10. So that means you would get back $18. So right there, GBP CAD pays out 80%. If I decided to do $10 on my trade and I won it, I would have got back 18 bucks. So there's different ones here. There's cryptocurrencies, um, commodities, stocks, and then you're able to pick all of these that you can trade in as well. Pocket options is pretty dope. All right, we'll just stick with um, EuroCAD. Here we go. Another cool part next to this is the candles. So your chart type. So you're either to pick area, you can do line work. I personally like to do candles on uh, my pocket options. It kind of just like kind of shows you how the market's moving, right? So you can see if you see any hammer, pin bars, reversals, and like stuff like that. So you can kind of just watch what's going on and then see if you want to go in for a trade or not. Obviously, some people use just this work, support and resistance. They can use um, um, indicators, a lot of things, right? Another thing is your time frame. So over here is how long your candles change. So right now we're on a one minute time frame. So every 60 seconds, a new candle will appear. And you can do this on a two minute time frame, three minute time frame, five minute time frame, totally up to you. Another thing that I like to always have is in here in your settings, it says enable timer. And while you do that, you see right here, the timer comes down, the countdown, to see how long your candle is before a new one will appear. This helps out a lot. Okay, so we're done here. The next one is your indicators. The indicators help a lot of traders, especially even new traders, help you see how the market's moving, especially if you don't know how to watch for patterns in the candles. So what I like to do is I kind of, if you guys are um, with I'm Academy, like I am, hit me up if you're not. Um, 
I like to kind of follow this like hourglass. So because that's where I learned from that great platform, I kind of have it kind of the same. So hourglass, I kind of watch it on a five minute time frame, and then I would watch this pretty much on a one minute time frame. So here, the first one is the Bollinger Bands. Great to have. The second one is an RSI. And of course, the stochastics. And why not we just add, do we have EMA? Oh, we have no EMA on this one. All right, cool. So let's see. There we go. So right here, and also RSI. So I like to have, if you go right here just to, um, change your settings for RSI. If you go right in here on that little pencil, you click on there. I like to change this to either five or six, but we'll keep it for six and I'll hit save. Oh, also my bad. And what you can also do with your RSI is change your style. So the overbought, you can have it in red because you know if it's a cell, like going over and then coming back down, you want to cross up, cross back down for a cell. I would keep that like that. And then for the oversold, I also like to keep that blue. There you go. And you can change the thickness and the width, but I'm okay with this right now. And then the middle, it's totally up to you for your two colors. I like to have mine, I don't know, we'll just do both white. I'm okay with that. Mine's just so many colors, but you know what? You can have this how you like to have it. And that was in styles over here. And then the input for the period was six. And then you would click save. You seeing that? So pretty. Oops, I must have did something. Isn't the overbought? Yeah, yeah. There's the over overbought right here in the red, oversold. Actually, you know what? Let's make that a little darker. So you can see it so light. Oh yeah, and the over butt, click on the color. We'll go with 3PX and then the oversold, what's changed it to 3PX and then click save. Yeah, so much darker. How come the red one didn't change? Hold on one second. There we go, overbought red. And hit save. All right, there we go. And then for the starch, let's see. And you can do the same thing. So what I like for the starch, you click on that pencil again. I changed my period to five, three, three. Three, three is already there. Styles, the overbought period, you can change into red. Change the color, you can go to oversold here, change to blue. I also change that to 3PX as well, make it a little darker so you can see it. And then um, the periods, I'm okay with it being white. So it pops up and then you would click save. And then you see it right here, so beautifully. Okay, another thing about this whole pocket options, how to use it. So just say you are with an educator or you're trading with your team and you're just new to this and you need to know like, okay, where do I press? What do I do? What buttons? So we already went over where to get your currencies. We went to change from either your in your charting here or your candles, um, adding the countdown. We also added some indicators to help us as well. We added the Bullerger bands because you guys know, Price stays in Bollinger Bands 90% of the time. The candle hits on top of the red Bollinger Band on the top. We know that price is going to bounce down. We know that if, if candles hit on the bottom part of the Bollinger Band, it's going to bounce back up. Pretty much elastic bands in there. And like I said, 90% of price of, yeah, price stays inside those Bollinger Bands. Another thing now, so how do you know to go in for a buy, sell? What do you press? So this is what's the next thing. This red button here is called a sell. Sometimes if you are on a go live or you're hearing someone else and they may also call this a put, okay? So a put and a sell is this red button right over here. If you may hear a buy or a call, so buy or call means this green button right here. So the red button means the sell, meaning you want to buy up here high, and then you want price to push down. That means you're in profit. And then if for the green button, which is the 
oh my God, call and buy. <laughs> you want to buy right here and price to move up so you're in profit. Cool? Cool. The next thing is purchase time. How long you want to go in for a trade? So if you're using hourglass, like I like to use hourglass, a good trade amount in that five minute time frame, candle time frame, is three minutes. Some people like to go in for five, 10, 15 minutes, totally up to you because it's your strategy and what works for you. So purchase time here, you would click on this and then M1 means one minute, M2 means two minutes, M3 means three minutes, you get the drift, right? All right, when you get to the H's, one hour, two hours, three hours, boom. Next to purchase time is trade amount. Now, you guys, this is proper risk management. This is very, very, very important. You do not want to blow out your account. You want to treat your demo account like your account, okay? Because the same way you're losing in your demo account, you are going to lose in your live account. So proper risk management is very, very important. So let me explain. So if you have $1,000 in your account, you do not want to risk no more than $20 at 2%. So that means if I have $1,000 in my account, this trade that I'm going to go in for is going to be $20. You see that? 20 bucks right there. The next thing is, um, so just say, yeah, we said five minutes, $20. Price. Price is what's going on in the market, where the market's at right now. And where it is, is at 1.540710. It's moving up and down. It's boss. So, and we also have 26 seconds on this candle because I'm going to end one on a one minute time frame. Okay. I'm on a one minute time frame for my candles, not my purchase time. Because you see here, my purchase time, it says five minutes, but I'm on a one minute time frame here with my candle. And a new one's going to appear in 10, nine. Okay, we're not doing that. Okay. So where you want to know is this is your price over here. So over here on the right hand side, you will see that the price is on the side over here. Again, a lot of people go lives, probably myself, everybody pretty much will call the last three digits. It's pretty hard to be calling out 1.54051. No, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is saying, yo, when price gets to 060, we are going to go in for a sell. Okay. So this is what it would look like. Eurocad, we're going to go in for one minute. You guys, I did not analyze any charts. I don't know what is going on. I'm just showing what's going on. We're going to trade amount for $20 and we're going to go in for a buy after we get to, well, price is dropping right now, but I just kind of want to show you something. We'll wait till this candle um, comes out in 10 seconds just so you guys can see how it looks. Four, three, two, one, hit. All right, so we are going in for a sell right at this price point. And how you get to kind of watch this trade, if you go over here on the right-hand side um, where it says trades, you can click on that and it can tell you that if you're also in profit and how much you have time left and what was the percentage you went in for. So, I mean, the percentage of the payout. So we did $20, the payout was 80%, 81%. And it said that that red arrow means that it was a sell and there's the $20, there's the currency that we went in. And this is the profit. And right over here is how much time we have left. So let's watch this countdown. Wow, you know, God loves me, I'm um, in profit, but anything can happen, it's HFX. But this is why you properly wanna go through all your indicators. If you guys wanna watch my old video on Cash Trap, I kinda of go through all the indicators there with the Stochastics, RSI, Bollinger Bands, EMA, and you can apply that to your pocket options here, and that will help you a lot. Boom, what happened here, you guys? Did I win this trade? Did I win, did I win? Oh, I won! Yay! Okay, that's so awesome. Okay, that's how it feels, you guys. It feels actually really good to win. You know what I mean? And 
and you can win. You can win a lot. If you just literally apply yourself daily and take in all the things you need to learn about HFX. It is such an amazing thing. I've only been doing this for four months and I love it so much. I have my own business where I own my own gym. I also own my own last studio and I just took up on this whole HFX thing and it's totally changed my life. And I know it can do yours as well. Making generational wealth. I speak of this all the time because I believe in it. And I believe that HFX can change a lot of lives. So here you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole pocket options tutorial. Um, it can pretty much, you know, this is how you're going to make your money through your broker. And then uh, good luck.